Welcome to 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And one of the uh, complaints or concerns I always get is people that are being pretty much forced to go from their desktop version of QuickBooks to the online version because it is, it's a big change. So if you haven't made that switch yet, uh, but you're thinking about it, QuickBooks just did something that might make the change easier. And again, you can go through TechSoup and get QuickBooks Online subscription for $80 per year. So that'll also help as well. Um, so, so it was interesting. I really wasn't actually searching out an app. Um, they had had an app about two or three years ago and they had abandoned it. So I just got used to using the web browser version. So, but I was looking for how much it would cost to add payroll to QuickBooks Online. Um, so anyway, I was going through this gear and then I was looking for this subscription of billings, but I was actually looking in the wrong area. And that's when I saw this one, get the desktop app. And I was curious, so I clicked on it and I scrolled down and I saw, well, they got one for Windows right down here. So I decided, well, I'll just click on it and it downloaded and it installed and when I opened it, let me see if I can get her open. This does take a minute. Um, it actually takes, uh, yeah, it, it's not bad, but it does take a little bit longer than your web browser to load. But you are you don't have to log in with a password because that's all secure. It's, it's basically a secure web browser is what this app looks like. So when I look at it, like you say, it, almost a secure web browser. Um, there's a place to add new tabs, which is nice because all of a sudden it makes it a lot easier to have multiple windows. So if you're going over from the desktop version to the online version, this is actually gonna be a really nice thing for you. So you can do the, new, the, the bunch of different tabs. They'll show up across the top, um, the different windows, if you wanna call it that. There's also, the, the menus like very similar to the desktop version is right up top here. So you can, that'll hopefully be a little bit better. And then the other little thing is, okay, so here's the menus, but here's this little button that says desktop view. And then when you click that, oops, I clicked it twice. I got a little jumpy there. And you will see that'll start looking a whole lot more like the desktop version. So um, they are trying to make it so that it's a little little easier to adjust to this online version. Um, so I think that's this is a really good attempt by them. So it is. it looks like just a secure web browser. Um, th this side here, this shortcuts area, this menu side here is not like what you're used to, um, but at least they have made these menus up at the top and they have made this regular map of, of the accounting transactions that you're probably used to as well. All right. So I would consider it. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. It was very easy to set up. I think since I was already logged in, I just had to log, I already had a login. So I just had to log in myself. And um, yeah, I've been very pleased with it. All right, hopefully if you're a desktop user that maybe this gave you some confidence to try QuickBooks Online um, because it might not be as hard of a switch as you think. Um, one concern I had is, okay, are they gonna be able to maintain this? They abandoned the last app they made and turned you over to the web browser. Well, I think they should be able to maintain this, this version because it basically is a secure web browser. So I think I feel pretty good about that. Um, yeah, and the other thing, I'm just gonna put a link down below to a post I did about how to get QuickBooks online for cheap. I think I say $75 per year because that's what it used to be, but now it's $80 per year. So um, although that's a price increase, $80 per year is pretty, um, pretty good discount through TechSoup. All right, till next time, like, subscribe, share. God bless you.